What's up my saucy darling Aquariuses? <laughs> Welcome to the Gifted Hermit, my darlings. I'm going to do some love questions for you guys, okay? And um, the questions are going to be, who truly loves you Aquarius? Uh, what they are thinking Aquarius? What do they want Aquarius? And then I'm going to pull out some other questions for you guys okay it doesn't have to be about love if you find that this reading resonates with you in any way please give me a thumbs up show some love is only right okay um yeah let's get into it who truly i've already pre-shuffled the deck um and cut so who truly loves aquarius wow straight away mm, four of pentacles <laughs> i love it wheel of fortune who truly loves aquarius Page of Swords. Mm, I like it. <laughs> Whoever truly loves you, okay, I feel like they keep they keep you close to their chest, all right, with the Four of Pentacles there. they almost, It's almost like, mm, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it's fated, okay? Whoever truly loves you, Aquarius, and this could be vice versa energy, whatever. Y'all know what that means, right, you regular readers. Um... But the Wheel of Fortune is like fate. It's like they know. They know they're meant to be with you. They're drawn to you. Um, there's something beautiful that makes them. Maybe they change when they're around you. But they change for the better. All right. They ch they change for the better. I love it when, when I use that question. Who truly loves you and the Wheel of Fortune. It's like luck is on your side. You know. Um. But it also means change. And I think it's change in a good way. And then we've got the Page of Swords. Huh, the Page of Swords. It, you know, this could be that whoever truly loves you could also be a water sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, it could also be that they're very, they're very with it in the mind, okay? But at the same time, they can keep with the times, right? Uh they can, you know, keep with, with modern day society and, and that sort of thing. You know, they might have youthful ideas or it could be that they're very, they're refreshing. I feel like this is how the person feels about you as well, Aquarius. Like you, they feel very refreshing around you and stuff like that. It could be that they're just young at heart. <laughs> Some people, you know, old fogies say, yeah, you're immature. Um... It could also, if we're looking at the other end of the spectrum, Aquarius, it could be that this is a challenging lover, either you or them, but there's something quite challenging here when you guys are together, right? There's a lot of good, um, but there could be also something else here, okay? But at the same time, <laughs> the Page of Swords is ready for the challenges, right? That's the type of energy that's there. Right. So the next question for you guys is, what are they thinking about Aquarius? What are they thinking? Wow. Ten of Cups. So that says a lot, doesn't it? What is she on about? That says a lot. Ten of Cups, my darlings, is this is this is proper happiness. Look at the look at that harmonious you know we've got animals we've got creative endeavors here where they're out in the sunshine in the summer and the ten of cups is like in a rainbow position as well very lucky this is emotional abundance okay this is feeling very happy this could be the long term as well especially in the love reading you know what are they thinking they're thinking that you mean the world to them you make them feel like girl or boy you the one you know it's it's, it's it's emotional security as well you know they're thinking maybe they're thinking does Aquarius bring me emotional security yes no only you would know Aquarius right what else are they thinking about Aquarius ten of swords reversed okay so that tells me that <laughs> There's, there's a very good sense of loyalty here. Wow. And change as well. Maybe that, you know, they're done with past relationships. It could be that they're done with somebody from the past. 
this world. I feel like maybe it could be baby mama, baby father, drama, or they're done with their family. Maybe family has been a big influence on this connection, all right? And they're done with anyone that, make it, that makes them worried or makes them feel like they're tied down, or they're done with any dramatic family members as well, quite frankly. That's what they're thinking, you know? And they're ready for change. They're ready to embrace this change. I do believe that. What's the outcome of this connection for Aquarius? What will the outcome be? Seven of Wands, okay? So if we take it upright, this is defending. Defending yourself at all costs, you know, or staying put, right? Being stubborn and, and, and you know, not budging. But if we see it in the reverse aspect, it's like, yeah, bring it on. I'm out of here. Um, and I do feel like it's from this situation here. Maybe they feel like they don't have to defend themselves. They can be honest around you, Aquarius. I feel the need to say they can be themselves. Again, you come across as very refreshing. Look at the high priestess there jumping out with the outcome and this and this freedom, you know, letting go. Um, this this freeness, this is enjoying life and being one's natural, true, authentic self without being judged, you know, which is lovely. Ace of Wands, beautiful, new beginnings, okay, creative endeavours, going for it, let's do this, I'm ready, somebody's ready for you Aquarius, <laughs> somebody's ready for you, right, so what we're going to do now Give me a crystal card, please, for Aquarius. And the question is, what does Aquarius need to know? For the week ahead, what does Aquarius need to know? Wow, well, that just flew out. <laughs> I love this one. Okay, so the questions. Are you ready to uncover memories or wisdom stored within your consciousness? Spiral inward to understand your dreams and visions, Aquarius. Recognize the value of the past and use it as a stepping stone for the future. You have much wisdom within you. Use it. Wisdom is stored in my cells and bones. I am conscious of my intelligence. I tap into ancestral knowledge. Meditation comes naturally. I go within for guidance every day. I interrogate and process all that I perceive with ease. I'll say that again, I said it wrong. I integrate and process all that I perceive with ease. I enjoyed this reading. I hope you did too. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you in any way. Please remember that these energies are vice versa. And there's not really any timestamp on this reading as well. Love, peace and light. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, Aquarius. And I will catch you on the frigging rebound. <laughs> Take care.